What is going on everyone? It's Tutorial Tim here and today we're going to go over a quick shortcut key where we'll left align and right align our selected items and I'm going to go ahead and use this text as an example. So if I go ahead and select both of these text elements and if I hit option A on my keyboard for Mac OS you'll notice that this left aligns these elements and if I go ahead and hit option D it'll go ahead and right align these elements and then I can go ahead and even practice this by selecting these two items and ensuring that all five of these squares are vertically aligned at the end of this exercise by selecting these two and hitting option D to align the leftmost item to the rightmost item uh, on the canvas and I can do the same thing here where I will align this rectangle on the right with the rectangle on the left by hitting option A and now I have a vertically aligned set of rectangles and this is very helpful when it comes to aligning text especially when you know you're a couple pixels off and maybe you're not trying to achieve the optical consistency but uh, you just want that sort of structure in place this is very common especially if there's a grid being placed say I have I'm designing for a MacBook Pro <clears throat> and I go ahead and add a, a just some sort of column layout nothing super realistic uh, I'm gonna go ahead and center this throw some width on there um, and maybe I want to align these this text and one thing I can do is of course nudge this until it it optically looks like it's aligned or structurally and sometimes you'll have text out of place just by one or two pixels and you can go ahead and hold down option A to snap that to the left I can even go ahead and duplicate this several times just to show you and just select all these elements and hit option A and it will left align all of that text and this can apply for uh, lining elements to the right as well not only elements to the right but say I had all these elements here in place I could even snap all of them down into the same position although that's probably not what you want or I could even snap all these elements to the top by hitting option W. If I undo that and hit option S, it'll snap those elements to the bottom. And that's my tip and trick of the day. I hope you enjoy this and I hope this helps your workflow as you're developing or designing user interfaces. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.